Hey folks, I uh, wanted to just show you a, an earlier creation from uh, my little banjo journey. This is um, when I first started uh, sort of making banjos and uh, and so on. I, I, I started by, by buying prefabricated necks, uh, actually ukulele necks, and uh, in this case this is a it's a baritone ukulele neck, and um, I, I bought a Afghani uh, tambourine, uh, pretty large. I think it's a 13, 13 plus inch, um, was originally a, a tambourine uh, with, a, with a nice uh, skin head on it, and um, figured I'd make what, uh, I guess you could call it a banjarine. It's a tenor banjarine. Um, and um, of course, I uh, I had to take the little jangles out of the uh, out of the tambourine, which I did. Uh, took it apart, and uh, it was painted in kind of a wild way. And I just uh, got rid of that paint that was on the sides of the of the tambourine. And then, uh, yeah, I refashioned the the shape of the the headstock of this particular thing. This um, headstocks come with kind of a standard. Um, I don't know, just a ukulele headstock, and I just uh, reshaped it and put some little, uh, three little uh, pieces of fake uh, shell, I guess, or maybe it's real shell, into the into the top, and um, had to run a, uh, I ran a, a steel rod. Uh, part of the challenge with any of these uh, projects is just getting enough support for the. Uh, for the neck so that you can um, not only have have the right action and uh, but the right stability as the strings put quite a bit of tension on 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 the uh, on the pot and on the neck and everything else so um, I wasn't sure if this was going to work I originally had steel strings on it and it, it uh, actually it was just really hard to keep it in tune because of this I think the stress that the steel strings put on the whole the whole affair. <clears throat> so I went and uh, actually put some, uh, these are um, baritone ukulele strings, which uh, the two, the two deepest strings are wound, <clears throat> nickel wound or something. Just give, I just think give a really nice tone <clears throat> um, to this particular uh, banjarine. And I, uh, yeah, I was a little concerned about the, uh, the stress on the on the pot um, from the string, so I, I added a couple of a, a leather and a and a uh, a rope, just a counter kind of support between the, just to keep the pot from twisting or pulling because of the uh, the force of the strings. And you can see I, I added a little um, oak support in here to give me something to. Uh, to kind of clamp this uh, this steel, to screw this steel rod through. And I made kind of a really crazy tailpiece out of a, a piece of steel that I had laying around. Uh, just bent it, cut some holes in it, and ran a, uh, ran a nail uh, through the back to grab a hold of the, the strings through those holes. Anyway, that's, uh, that's banjarine tenor. Banjarine, one of my early projects before I, uh, this is before I was brave enough to get into uh, actually making and working on a neck. Um, and yeah, it's been an interesting progression. Uh, the, the next video I'll do is, uh, is the first, yeah, it's the only, only fretted instrument that I've done so far. I never thought I'd, I'd actually get into to trying to put frets onto a, a, uh, a neck that I made, but I, I finally, um, felt comfortable moving in that direction. So that'll be my next video. But uh, nice introducing this to you. And uh, you know, I've really benefited from so many of, uh, of other folks out there, including maybe yourself, who've uh, just shared your projects, shared uh, your sort of uh, journeys with instruments and trying to figure things out. I've, I've learned so much. From a lot of a lot of you so that was part of my motivation for making these little videos was just to pass on some of the things that i've learned over this last year and and, the, and uh, maybe you can uh, 
maybe it'll help you too as you uh, build your own banjos or whatever you might be doing. So um, anyway, thanks for watching.